uh, experimental micromechanics. It's uh, a, a chair in the faculty of civil engineering, um, where I'm trying to develop uh, new methods to uh, study uh, damage of, of materials and structures, and also to uh, learn from that uh, way material uh, fractures and breaks, and then to l use that knowledge to uh, develop new materials. New materials that are stronger and have better performance in, uh, in real structures. Well, self-healing in concrete structures uh, is something where we uh, actually want to repair the cracks that develop in concrete structures. Um, cracks are always there in concrete because we design concrete structures to crack. Because that's why we put the steel reinforcement, the steel bars inside the material. Um, so they keep the cracks together. But the problem with cracks is that water and chlorides can penetrate. Chlorides come from the icing salt or from seawater. And if this water and chlorides penetrates, the steel reinforcement can start to corrode. So we want to build in something in the concrete that fills up the crack. Um, we are working on different options for that, different ways to um, heal the cracks, to get the cracks filled. And uh, one of the options we are working on is our bacterial concrete. We started with that already uh, seven years ago with uh, a postdoc that we had then, uh, Dr. Hank Jonkers. He started to work in our group. He is actually a microbiologist, so we joined this together, a joint uh, work of a microbiologist and something, someone that knows about concrete. Um, and that turned out to be a very good combination because um, he um, developed this bacterial concrete so that we have special bacteria that can uh, live inside the concrete, that feel happy in there. Actually, they are sleeping in the concrete. Uh, so we actually put the spores of the bacteria in they are waiting for, for a crack to happen, that uh, if you get a crack, water penetrates, those bacteria, they wake up and they start to produce uh, calcite. And uh, with this calcite, they fill up the crack completely so that uh, the penetration of water and chloride stops them. So then the, uh, the concrete structure is repaired, is self-healed, because it goes all by itself. So you don't have to do anything if you put the bacteria in and also some food for the bacteria because they have to eat something. So some organic material has to be put into. Uh, then it just starts by itself. If you get a crack, water penetrates, those bacteria, they wake up and do their job. So in that way you uh, have a structure that really heals itself. Yeah, the test that we do is uh, make specimens, uh, create cracks in them, um, see how the bacteria, when they start working, when they fill up the cracks, and then we study what kind of products they produce in the cracks. So we uh, study the material on the microscopes and uh, with the mechanical tests on the, the, the products that are formed inside the crack. And also see if this crack is then really watertight, that water cannot penetrate in it anymore, that uh, water and the icing soles cannot reach the reinforcement anymore. So that's the test that we are doing. And of course, we also have to study the durability of this repaired material. So how, uh, how does it perform in time? And of course, we cannot wait 10, 20 years to see the performance in the real time. So we do some accelerated thing tests at higher temperatures, uh, other forces to see what the, the durability of this material is.